Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, brand new video now. It's literally um, kind of late at night right now, you know what I mean? It's almost 11pm and I have work early in the morning and I'm making this video. So I'm going to try and make this video super quick. But pretty much, you guys can obviously read by the title. I want to talk about Bitcoin, right? I really want to talk about Bitcoin and you guys know how I'm really bullish with Bitcoin for the past, you know, few days and weeks. I've been talking about, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum and pretty much the whole crypto um, currency, like market in general, how I'm like really just bullish. You know, you guys know I talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum mainly, right? Um, You know, I talk about, you know, Bitcoin, you know, I really believe Bitcoin is going to hit you know, a hundred thousand dollars sometime this year, maybe towards the end of the year or sometime maybe early next year. Right. And I'll talk about how Bitcoin's gonna hit, you know, one million dollars, you know, maybe eight, ten years from now, or even millions of dollars down in the future, you know what I mean? Um and I don't know, you know, for the past for the past few days, I just feel like I'm not really bullish. It's crazy to say, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not really bullish with Bitcoin no more. You know what I mean? Like, Bitcoin, like, it just, it it, it feels like, in a way, it feels like Bitcoin is a scam. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, you know, we don't know who, first of all, you know what I mean? Sat Satoshi Nakamoto, the person that, you know, created Bitcoin back in 2008 or nine, I believe, right? We don't know who this person is. Like this person is like a mystery. You know what I mean? It, it could, it's probably like a group of people. Like we really don't know who this person is. It's a mystery. And to this day, it's still a mystery. You know what I mean? You know how us human beings, you know what I mean? Like we like to prove like people wrong and all that, you know what I mean? Like for an example, if I was to create off Bitcoin, right? I created Bitcoin as an asset, right? And I was trading at, you know, a couple dollars when I was starting off, couple cents, you know what I mean? And then a decade later, it was trading at, you know, thousands of dollars. I would literally come out and be like, I told you guys, you know what I mean? Like Bitcoin was going to be something big in the future. I would literally come out and be like, you know, I told you this, you know what I mean? Like prove people wrong, you know what I mean? Like they were wrong and I was right. That's just how us human beings are, you know what I mean? So it's just crazy how this person named Satoshi Nakamoto hasn't came out yet, even till this day, hasn't came out yet. And Bitcoin's literally at, you know, all time highs, obviously, you know what I mean? Like trading at over $60,000 here in Australia, right? And I believe in America, it's at like what, 40, over $40,000, right? So obviously Bitcoin has shot up over the decades you know what i mean over the years but i feel like i feel like it's just such a it's just such a mystery with bitcoin you know what i mean and it's something really really different because you know bitcoin right is it's a digital currency right you, you can you can just picture bitcoin as like digital money like it's money but it's just digital you know what i mean it's not physical right um, and that's something that's like really different. I don't believe in the future, you know, everything's going to be digital. Okay. Not a lot of people will use cash. Like I believe, I really do believe like a lot of people don't use cash at all anyways. You know what I mean? Like in 2022, a lot of people don't really use cash. They mainly just use the like bank card. You know what I mean? Like something that's digital. You know what I mean? Not a lot of people carry cash nowadays. Personally, I don't. Right. But I feel like Bitcoin is just... You know, what Warren Buffett says, you know, what I mean, one of the richest, well, wealthiest people, right? He's a billionaire, right? You guys know who Warren Buffett is. I don't have to explain it. You know what I mean? One of the wealthiest people in this world. And he called Bitcoin rat poison. He does not believe in Bitcoin. Okay. Like he literally called Bitcoin rat poison. You know what I mean? And that's just his own personal opinion. You know what I mean? I'm not following his opinion. But, you know, I started to do a lot more research about Bitcoin and I feel like Bitcoin is literally going to crash one day. It's going to crash. I just feel like I'm not that bullish with Bitcoin anymore. I feel like I am really just bearish at this point. You know what I mean? Um, 
and I feel like Bitcoin could easily crash. You know what I mean? Like, if you guys remember back in early 2021, Bitcoin was at like $84,000, almost at $90,000 here in Australia, by the way, right? Not in America. And it crashed all the way down to like $40,000 in like, in like a time span of like, I don't know how long, but I think a couple weeks, you know what I mean? Which is crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I can't think of any other assets. Like, stocks, I believe, don't drop that much. You know, like, 50%, 60% drops. I don't think stocks can do that. I don't think. But Bitcoin can drop. Like, it was just proven, you know what I mean? Back in 2021. So, I just feel like Bitcoin, you know, you guys know how I say, you know, I'm bullish with Bitcoin. I believe Bitcoin will never, right, will never drop to, like, $20,000, or ten thousand dollars like i just i personally said and in, in like some of my videos i said bitcoin would never drop to like you know 30 20 even ten thousand dollars but thinking about it now bitcoin could drop back down to ten thousand dollars and five thousand dollars even lower than that okay i'm not lying here guys like if you look if we go back to 2017 right back in 2017 i think it was late 2017 you know what i mean bitcoin was trading at you know over twenty thousand dollars here in Australia, and it dropped all the way back down to like five thousand dollars. Think about that, right? So we really don't know where Bitcoin is going is heading. Okay, no one knows. We're just all predicting where Bitcoin is heading, right? Like no one really knows where Bitcoin will be tomorrow, in a week from now, in a month from now. Like no one truly knows. You know what I mean? Like all these people, like myself and other you know people on you know Twitter, YouTube, social. Uh, social media during you know, Instagram and all that, right? Predicting where Bitcoin and cryptocurrency will be in the future. No one truly knows where it will be. Okay. And that's just facts. So I feel like I'm slowly getting bearish with Bitcoin and I feel like it's going to crash. And I mainly bought most of my Bitcoins back in um, when Bitcoin was trading at, you know, $40,000, right? That was the lowest I bought Bitcoin at. And I feel like it's going to drop lower than that. You know what I mean? So, you guys can read by the title, I sold all my Bitcoins. Okay, I got out. I'm out. You know what I mean? I sold all my Bitcoins. You know what I mean? I don't want to have this huge risk, you know what I mean, of losing all my money if Bitcoin drops to like, you know, 30, 20, $10,000, right? That's just my own personal prediction. So, I got out. All right, guys, I sold all my Bitcoins, okay, and I really do believe there's going to be a crash happening, okay. I'm just really bearish with Bitcoin of where it's heading, you know what I mean, and, you know, I should have sold. Thinking about it now, I have a, I have a regret not selling Bitcoin when I was at its all-time highs back in November of last year, you know, 2021, because Bitcoin was at $90,000. It was almost at $100,000. Um here in Australia, and now it's, what, $61,000 now? Yeah, for the past few days, it's been dropping, but that's just part of crypto. It's volatile, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I got out, guys. I sold all my Bitcoins. Um, I sold a little bit of my Ethereums, and what's the day today? Hold up. What, what's the day today? What's the date? I want to show you guys the date real quick. If my camera can focus. 1st of April. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Did I get any of you guys? I didn't sell any of my goddamn Bitcoins or Ethereum. Are you kidding me? Guys, all those things that I just said was all lies, okay? Was all lies. Okay, sorry if I gave you guys a heart attack or anything like that. Guys, I am still bullish with Bitcoin. I still love Bitcoin. I still believe, you know, Bitcoin and crypto in general is going to be the future. Bitcoin is going to hit $1 million. All the things that I just said was cap, okay? It was just lies, man. It's April Fool's. It's 1st of April today, okay? So I'm making this video last minute. Um, But I hope...
I'm sorry, guys. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I just needed to, you know, in some way clip clickbait you guys. You know what I mean? But I didn't sell any of my Bitcoins. Okay. I'm still hodling. Okay. I'm just joking here. I would, I, I was going to say I, will, I would never sell any of my Bitcoins, but I will eventually, you know what I mean? Down in the future. Okay. But as of right now, no, I don't care about short term profits. You know what I mean? As you should. But no, guys, I didn't sell. I'm still hodling for dear life with all my Bitcoins. I haven't sold any of them, even my Ethereum, by the way. Um, but I just wanted to make this quick video just to give you guys a little April Fool's joke. All right. So sorry if I gave, if I gave you guys a heart attack, um, but you guys can breathe now. OK, you guys can breathe now. I didn't sell any of my Bitcoins. I still have them. I'm still bullish okay i still believe in crypto i love crypto i love bitcoin you know what i mean but i just wanted to make this quick little april fools video for you guys you know what i mean titled something on the lines of i sold all my bitcoin something like that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i just wanted to quickly make this video this little quick funny joke video you know what i mean because april fools but we'll be coming back with more of a serious video tomorrow about crypto okay because i'm just excited about where crypto is heading even though even though the past few days now crypto is dipping which is good which which means more buying opportunities i'm still happy i would rather have more dips i'd rather have more red days you know what i mean and crashes i'm expecting a crash i want to buy more eth but guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here i'm gonna end it here give it a thumbs up subscribe if you guys have not yet i really i really will appreciate that Comment down below if I really did get you guys, okay? Because I'm sorry if I did. But relax. I didn't sell any of my Bitcoins. I'm still hodling. And you guys should do too. Don't sell any of your Bitcoins, right? Don't sell any of your Bitcoins till maybe 2035 or 2040. And you will become a millionaire. But guys, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Have a good day.